And with cases ramping up, local researchers are now digging into the impact of a booster shot. UC Davis Health doctors putting a third shot to the test. CBS 13's Marley Ginter talked with the doctor leading the latest clinical trial. Marley. Elizabeth and Tony, they'll have quite a bit of data considering this trial involves volunteers they've already been tracking since the first shot a year ago. Now signing up for another two years of research, tracking their antibodies and any breakthrough COVID symptoms. Some of the first to roll up their sleeves, now ready to do it again, as UC Davis Health researches the impact of a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. When we hear booster shot, is it different than the original shots then that you've received? It is not. They chose not to do the, a different um, vaccine. Dr. Timothy Albertson, leading the latest clinical trial, says this is the long haul for a disease that's been mutating quickly. Dr. Albertson says there were additional vaccines to consider and even discussion about one that might be a higher affinity for some of the variants. But instead, this clinical trial will be a continuation of the Pfizer vaccine trial that started about a year ago, with a portion of those who participated now randomly getting a booster or a placebo. We're actually going to be measuring antibodies to COVID. Uh, we've got their baseline. We've got their baseline when they started naively last July. We've got their response to the therapy. By analyzing all that data, researchers can track how much time passes before someone needs another dose. After all, over time, your immune system forgets the initial vaccination. A critical clinical trial of a third dose, while some have yet to get the shot at all. Dr. Albertson says putting everyone at risk of the virus aggressively mutating even more. There are people out there who say they won't get um, the original, <laughs> let alone a booster. Uh, that's the part I don't understand. I don't understand the risk-benefit ratio is so clear. Now, this is all part of a huge study of 40,000 patients worldwide with volunteers carefully chosen. UC Davis Health was picked because of the diverse pool of volunteers and their willingness to give feedback and follow-up info. Elizabeth. All right, thanks, Marley.